everyone, it's Glenda from Style with Glenda K. Harrison and So What to 20. I'm coming to you today live on Facebook with another What's on the Rack. And this is a really quick video. I just want to kind of introduce some of the different sleeve details that are popular and in the stores for this season and probably into the next season. If you haven't already noticed, the statement sleeve is all the way. But I want you to realize that the statement sleeve has been around for quite a long time. It has the ability to come and go into our lives. It's been doing that for centuries. And But now, the fashion industry has said the statement sleeve is all the rage. It's the hottest trend. So now, everyone is all about the statement sleeve. So, funny how that goes, right? Something that has already been in the store. But now, because the fashion industry says it's the latest trend, we take notice to it. So, I have a few items that are on my rack that I want to show to you. The first one is called the Poet Shirt. Now, this shirt I'm going to be wearing on Sunday on the blog in um, a post called Poetic. So, the Poet Shirt is a very loose-fitting shirt. This one has a high-low effect, and it comes from the Romanticism era. And basically what it is, is it's an extremely voluminous sleeve. And then at the, the wrist, you'll, e you'll usually see either a bishop sleeve, and I'll show you what a bishop sleeve is in a minute, or you'll see the pretty ties at the end. Now, this shirt is a lot of fun to wear. I felt really feminine and pretty wearing it. This is probably the pinkest thing I've ever owned. And I absolutely love it because the shade of pink <clears throat> is a very pretty shade of pink. I'm not really a pink kind of girl, but this one did sell me. So this is a poet shirt, and it's marked by the very full sleeve, okay? Now the next one is the shirt that I wore last week on a blog, in the blog called um, Making a Statement. And... This shirt, remember the big, full balloon sleeve? Well, that's what this is called. It's called a balloon sleeve. It's marked by an extremely full sleeve. And then this one cut off just like at my elbow. So that's the balloon sleeve. This shirt is available at Loft. Now, when I posted it on the blog, it was 40% off, so you could have gotten it for 20 bucks. I don't think it's still on sale, but you can always go back to my blog and click the link and find out if it is still on sale. I liked it so much that I also got the same shirt in black. Sorry, I haven't ironed it yet, but it's the exact same shirt, uh, the balloon sleeve from Law. This one is like a soft kind of almost like a pinky peach color, and then of course in the black. This shirt, by the way, the Poet shirt is from Lou and Gray, and I'll give you all the details. It'll be on the blog on Sunday, so all the details and the link for you to click it and buy will all be there on Sunday. <clears throat> now, I had just mentioned the Bishop sleeve when I was talking about the Poet shirt. The Bishop sleeve comes from the Byzantine era, era when the monks, they didn't want their sleeve to drag across the elements when they were serving communion. So they designed their, their coats so that at the wrist it would get tight so that they wouldn't have issues with their, um, with their shirt dragging across the elements. So that's why it's called the bishop sleeve. Now, this shirt is one that I got about three years ago from a vintage store. This one is dated from the 19, 1970s. So, a bishop sleeve is marked by, again, a very voluminous sleeve, very full, and then right at the wrist, 
you'll usually see about four to five inches of a, of a fitted wrist area. So that's the bishop sleeve. And again, this is a vintage piece, but see how fashion comes and go into our lives? This t-shirt here is from The Loft. This is a current shirt. And see the bishop sleeve? The same exact detail as my vintage. The very full sleeve with the fitted wrist. And I wore this one on the blog, I think it was about three weeks ago in a post called From Badass to Bonjour. And I was wearing a beret with this, with a blue skirt. Now, another thing that you'll see in the statement sleeve is lots of embroidery. This is a drop yoke, and then you'll see it, lots of embroidery on the sleeves. And um, this is also an older dress. This dress came from Zara about two years ago. So look for details on the sleeve that have embroidery. And then another shaped sleeve, this is called a trumpet sleeve. This was from Loft in Spring. So see, they were already beginning to tempt us a little bit with the statement sleeve. This is called a trumpet sleeve. Um, it's shaped just like the instrument, the trumpet. It's fitted like a regular shaped sleeve here on the top. And then midway, about at your elbow, you'll see that it flares out. And then this one is a little bit um, more interesting because it is double layered and then it has the little fun little gathered detail here just at the start of the trumpet. So this is also, this was loft from last spring. And then finally, now I really didn't have anything um, to show an exaggerated bell sleeve. I just have a subtle bell sleeve sweater, but the difference between a bell sleeve and a trumpet sleeve is this. This is my one example of a bell sleeve. This sweater is from Loft and the bell sleeve, now this is a three quarter inch sleeve, but it is a bell and what it does is it, it's fitted here and then it does a gradual increase as it goes toward the wrist. It's hard to see it in this sweater, but that's the difference between a bell and a trumpet. I see a lot of people kind of um, mix those two up. So the trumpet is the shape just like the instrument, the trumpet, where it's tight here and then it flares out, where this one is a gradual flare for the bell sleeve. But there are many other different sleeves out there. As you go into the stores or you shop online, you're going to see a lot of different fun pieces out there. So I want you to just have fun and enjoy the experience. You know, start off small if you're not sure about doing something as bold of a statement as this poet top with the, um, the ties. You know, you can start off with a bishop sleeve or even a balloon or you can do the bell sleeve. So those are just some of the the looks for the statement sleeve. I hope you enjoyed this quick Facebook Live video and be sure to check out So What to 20 on Sunday. Have a great weekend. Bye.